I'm Staff Sergeant Brian Smith. I am from Davenport, Florida. I'm Sergeant Mitchell Orr, and I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. I'm Specialist Nadia Zaz Bazan, and I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Sergeant Stefan Sierra from Fort Myers, Florida. On the civilian side, I work for my local Chamber of Commerce, helping local businesses and uh, tourism to our area. My primary education is in the healthcare administration. So on the civilian side, I'm trained to prepare the paperwork for the operation. I have never got a skill set or experience how to do it hands-on. The Army gave me a skill set and experience. So on the civilian side, I'm actually a marine technician with Fort Myers Marine Max. Um, I work on boats. I actually just recently was working at Universal Studios for their Mardi Gras event. So outside of this, I actually <laughs> I go into acting. Uh, well, it's a, such a big sense of camaraderie, a big brotherhood. We Just today we were working with the civilian sector with paramedics and firefighters. They were processing paperwork while we were collecting samples. It's outside of this testing facility. There's police officers controlling the traffic. Just exactly all the sectors of my battalions here, not necessary medics. Our supply sergeants, our officers are here all the time. It's an operation that's been ongoing 24-7. We all putting 200% of an effort to keep people safe. It's a, a, it's a fight that every other country is fighting right now. I'm really honestly honored to be a part of this. Uh, I have a great team that I'm working with. The ability to bring peace of mind to the public in this time, uh, in this day and age with what everything's going on, yes, I absolutely feel uh, fantastic about what we're doing out here. When we put on this uniform, we're Florida soldiers and we're here for the citizens of this state. It's a brotherhood of sorts, so it's a great opportunity to show the civilian population while we're here, we're your soldiers, so we're here for you guys. A message that I would say to anybody watching is to just uh, keep your family in the forefront of your mind. Everybody is going through different challenges right now and we just need to hold each other up, keep each other's arms held high, um, just support everybody and everything that they're doing. And if we come together and band together, we can get through this better as one team than individually. You don't know when, where, anything like that, but honestly that's what we signed up for. So as the unit morale as a whole, has been nothing but positive. I mean, they're, they're just human. They're just like everybody else. They want to know. They have families at home, right? So we came out here with the understanding of what we would be doing without the end aspect of when it will be over. Uh, how is it myself as a father? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's never easy leaving your kids. It's never easy telling them, Daddy's got to go, right? Um, they understand to the point where they can. I still talk to them every day. I encourage all my soldiers to talk to their families, wives, husbands, children, parents, everybody. Just let them know that we're out here and what we're doing, you know. Um, I want the families to be just as proud of what they're doing as the pride that they feel in themselves for being out here. My family is actually in three different continents right now. <laughs> I keep in touch with them every day, sometimes twice, three times a day. I just want to make sure we're safe, we keep ourselves safe. My family's good. Uh, my family's uh, kind of used to the swing of things. My wife Megan, she takes care of the house while I'm gone. Uh, my mom and my grandparents, they know what this job requires of me and I'm lucky enough to have their support. So my family is uh, very proud of us being here. They couldn't support us anymore. Uh, they're just proud that we're able to bring a, a sense of peace to the area that we're, we're working in. They, they obviously miss us, but they're fully supporting us and we have their full support to be here and helping the areas that are impacted the heaviest. What I would like everyone at home to understand about what we're doing out here, we're out here for you. We are the men and women that signed that contract, that put ourselves into this situation because we want nothing more than to help. We're not out here for any other reason. We, we, we understand the position we've been put in. We understand the importance of this. And for us to have that honor, that title, that position of being able to go home with that sense of pride that we did something, that we helped something out here, I want everyone to understand at home that that's why we're here. That's what we want. Like when you come through here, should you come through here, know that every single soldier here at this site is ready to help you and nothing less.
My personal take on being activated with the National Guard for this relief effort for COVID-19 is of great honor. Just being able to support the communities in this area and to provide some sense of security has been uh, just a great honor for, for everything that we're doing. Every day is a proud moment for me. Every day I am running the lanes, responding to my superiors, being here and being involved in what's important, making history every day is a moment of pride for me. To my wife, Megan, I love you. Mom, grandparents, I love you guys so much. Uh, thank you for keeping in contact. I can never thank you enough. Please take care of yourselves, mom, brother. So, yeah, I miss you all. As soon as we done, we as soon as we, uh, as soon as we resolve this problem, I'll be right back home with you. <laughs> I am Staff Sergeant Brian Smith. I am Sergeant Mitchell Orr. I am Specialist Nadia saez Basan. I'm Sergeant Stefan Sierra. And I'm ready. And I'm ready. And I'm ready. And I'm ready for this mission.